<laughs> Six wide receivers go in the first 18 picks. We've seen runs on this position before, but I'm just fascinated by that plus the, the, the trades that happen and what it says about the way the position is now regarded in the league. How do you best describe it, Lewis? Yeah, I think there, there's a split, Scott, within the league. I think there's some teams that obviously feel as though the veteran route is something that they're more comfortable with because maybe they experience some some bad moves as far as trying to draft and develop their own. So they go out and get certain players. I mean, look, that's what the Raiders did, it, although it's a unique situation with Devontae sure. Adams in their car because they have a history. But those are the kind of moves that you like to try and make. Tyreek Hill going down to Miami. Look, that's one of those situations where the Chiefs didn't want to lose him. But Miami was like, look, man, we got to get even more speed here. We got to, like, absolutely inundate uh, Tua with so many weapons that he cannot possibly fail. So we're just going to get the very best ones possible. And then a situation like Tennessee where they go, hey, look, A.J. Brown's going, look, I want my money now. Yeah. I was a second-round pick. I want to get paid. But John Robinson, the GM, goes, hey, look, we're, we're not going to be held hostage like some of these wide receivers are holding their teams hostage. So what we're going to wind up doing is we're going to go ahead and trade you and then we're going to go ahead and draft our own guy that's just like you, that wins the same way as you in Traylon Burks. So there's kind of like two different philosophical approaches to it, which I think is fascinating, and I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it because it makes team building that much more diversified. It makes it all the more interesting to talk about. Yes, and we will talk about the Brown situation here moving uh, forward in the show and how it came to be. We just talked a bit about, about Pickett to the Steelers. Hail to Pitt, you know it, uh, that, that's your alma mater. I just wonder about yeah. the fit, the player. What was your reaction to it, Lewis? Look, I, I said in the opening of the show here tonight, look, quarterback play, as much as at this time of year, we want to boil everything everything down to traits, regardless of position, height, weight, speed, arm strength, 40, that's all we want to talk about. There's still, look, when it comes to quarterback play, the two things that the greatest quarterback coaches have always emphasized to me are must-haves our decision making and accuracy a high football IQ a lot of football horsepower a big engine to want to really get down to the nitty gritty of playing the position and grind and grind and grind and grind that's what Kenny Pickett is that's who he is that's how he has made his way in college football and that's how he's going to make his way in the pros and here's the other thing he's not the athlete Malik Willis is there's no question about that Malik is different Malik has special athletic ability in terms of the way he's built in his lower body, the way he can twist his upper body and get so much torque on that on his arm and throw that football in ways that not many people can do. But there's more to it than that. Of and course. when you take all of that together, there have been many cases, Scott, across all positions where a player with less physical traits but maybe has developed more mentally and psychologically as his career goes on, winds up having the better career than the guy who blew him away in the traits. And we see it all the time. And we wind up going, you know, in retrospect, man, how did I miss on that guy? Well, most times you miss on it because you become enamored with the traits and forget about the other things, especially a quarterback, that the greats all have, which are a lot of those things that you can't really measure. You can't really measure them at the combine. You can't measure them on a vertical jump. Uh, ladder you can't right. those are the things that they're intangibles sure. so I think that's why Kenny Pickett look I, I love the pick okay. you saw how emotional he was he's perfect for Pittsburgh I right. think he's gonna have a great career thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus